there are three ways we stand and we're going to talk about them right now. There's the forward cast. I'm going to face it. Have a look at both my feet there. My toes are aligned. I'm facing as though I'm standing like a soldier facing the forward cast. That is called neutral stance. It is neutral. It is neither this nor that. It is neutral, okay? Neutral stance, when would I use neutral stance? If I'm being lazy, if I'm just very, very relaxed at a still water on the bank, something like that, and I'm just playing around, just putting some casts down. If I'm just, or if I'm in the garden practicing, I might use neutral stance. It's a very relaxed way to stand and fish. Another way, and it's the traditional way of fly casting that was always taught, is called closed stance. This is my casting arm. It is my right hand, my right arm. This is my casting leg. It is my right leg. Casting arm, casting leg. Closed stance involves standing with your casting leg forward. Okay? So now, instead of being a little bit off balance with the neutral stance, we've got a nice sort of more poised, kind of dart throwing stance with the closed stance. Why would we use closed stance? Well, they used to teach it so that we could get really nice direction on the cast. And the thinking is that it prevents you from turning and looking at your back cast. Why is that a good thing? Well, if you turn and look at your back cast, often the rod tip goes past beyond the back cast cone. And we know from previous exercises, that's a bad thing. We want the back cast to land exactly over the yellow cone there. So the theory is that keeping everything locked in, keeping your hips locked in, keeps the cast nice and straight like that. And it works, but it's a little bit uncomfortable and I can't see my back cast. What about a perfect world where we could lock our direction in, feel relaxed and safe, but see our forward cast and our back cast? The next stance is called open stance. It's the opposite of closed. This is closed, our casting leg forward. This is open, our casting leg backward. What advantages are there to the open stance? Right, well, it's simple. You can see your back cast. I think of it in terms of being a painter. If this is my easel, and I'm gonna put my casts all over there, I'm gonna paint my casts here, I want to be able to see my easel. I want to be able to paint the back cast and paint the forward cast. With closed stance, I can't see my back cast. With open stance, I can see the full palette, the full easel of my back cast and my forward cast. There's my back cast, and there's my forward cast. Directly in between the two cones, a nice straight cast. There is a disadvantage to open stance. You have to learn and train yourself to keep the rod tip over the back cast cone and over the forward cast cone. But we know that already. We've learned that in the triangle technique already. So we should be well versed in doing that. And that's why we learned that in the previous lessons. We've already got good basic technique in how to keep our tip over the back cast cone and the forward cast cone. So really, if we can do that, it doesn't matter how we stand. We can stand however we want. Okay? Now that gives us versatility in fly casting. It means we can stand safely wherever we are. It means we can see our back casting cone and we can see our front casting cone but there's one more thing and it's what everybody wants to do distance open stance is the number one way to get distance in your fly cast we're going to be covering that later in tutorials but for now I'll give you a little demonstration of the potential of open stance You can see how I can move my body and I'm looking at the back cast, looking at the forward cast, and you can see the sort of dynamic range that my body's got. Nice straight cast, long cast, 30, 40, 50 feet, and we can get much more distance as well. We can get up to 100, 120 feet. We couldn't do that 
if we had closed stance like this, it's, I can't move my rod tip back far enough. I can, but it's very uncomfortable. I'm twisting my body here, it's very uncomfortable, and I'm unstable. Open stance, I can see my back cast, I can see my forward cast, and I've got good technique already because I know how to keep my rod tip over the forward cast cone and over the back cast cone. Stance, choose the right stance for you. Above all, safety is everything, but work towards being able to use closed, neutral, and open stance. And just be aware, make a mental note when you're fishing those different stances, what stance you're using and why you are using them. Just make a mental note, be your own director and think to yourself, oh, I've chosen this stance because of this situation. Makes you more self-aware as a fly fisher. Great, love it.